No new stream up? What? I am live. Alright, and I apologize. I don't know. It's like, if it's out of my control, what am I supposed to do about it, man? Like, I can't really fix it. Okay. I don't I mean, like, I figured it would just be, oh, I'm overheating or something, but nah, man. I mean, I guess I've been working all day, you know, the videos and just graphics and stuff like that, but, um, so it's been on all day, but the fact that it froze right there, you got me, man. I don't know. Okay, I'm not even mad. I don't even get it anymore. Okay. Join the Discord, Alex P. Post it in general. Okay, if you got a chart, post it in general chat and Discord. It's the way we do it. Okay. Here's the cues, man. The cues. Not looking hot. I mean, it's very hot, but you know, just today's price action. Ooh. Here's your breakout. You broke out, man. You broke out, but you have not hit uh, fifty dollars. You gotta hit fifty dollars, man. To to like give us a lot more certainty that uh, from the high to low this is the swing the real swing low okay so we get that will be good man so here you go man this is a uh, activision you know see i don't like the rejection we got today yeah, that's gross man i mean this i guess that's indecision back to back days of indecision i mean that's almost like uh, i mean it doesn't meet the criteria of bearish pin bar exactly but uh, you are rejecting prices above 48.80. Okay, so you might see yourself sell off a little bit, but it, with earnings, I just I don't know. I don't even know what the IV is, the implied volatility. All right, but you would just think after so much incessant selling, that no matter what is reported tomorrow, you're probably undervalued at 48 dollars since you went from 85 dollars to below 40 or right at 40 at 39.84 before retracing just a little bit and the retrace from the high to low is not even 23 percent yet okay so it's just low risk high reward opportunity you just gotta be careful with that the earnings are tricky dude. they really make them tricky so i'm like deep in the green right now but you know four dollars and 56 cents per share in the green but um it could get all it could all get wiped out tomorrow on earnings if it's really really bad but even if it's decent or good, uh, you beat expectations somewhat, you might very well have a nice pop of the upside gap up. I don't know. Okay. Activision Illuminati act activated. What? Bonza fan? Holy crap, that's a lot of actives. All right, dude. It was the night King John Hill. It could have been. It could have been. So, uh, Milo's coming in from South Europe. Thanks for being here. Uh, Borz Maga one says greetings from Turkey. Welcome, dude. Thanks for being here, dude. Seriously, y'all are amazing. And AKB is coming in from North Carolina. Awesome, man. I know we got a few of those in here. Francisco coming in from Portugal. Heck yeah, man. All around the world. We're Kangs again, Third Eye Trader. We did it, man. We freaking did it. Get some likes on this new one. I don't know. We had over 100 likes last time. But now, since the crash, we're back to peasantry. All right. It's all good, though, man. I don't know. I don't even know how long I'm... I was live for like an hour and 20 minutes before the PC froze. So, 
I don't know, man. Okay. Sweet, man. Dude, I'm still, like, off. Like, not everything's exactly the way I want it. Because normally it's, like, a methodical process of getting things set up for stream where, you know, these different... I guess my PC freezing has gotten me a lot better at setting up for stream a lot quicker. Okay. Because it's so time sensitive. It's like, oh my God, like there's people waiting, right? So J Rock, VO, Echo Trader, Golden Eagle. What's that, man? Same situation as it was kind of since the last time I looked at it. ADA, US dollar, tether, all right, finance. You hit this support, 6.415 cents, and you've broken the upside. But dude, the downside resistance is very real. It's being respected. It's tough to break, man. You can't do it. You're trying so hard. Divergence, and eh, no more divergence. Nope. That's invalidated. MACD really invalidated too, man. So if you get a break above seven cents, if you were to just make a common retrace to the upside, you're looking for 8.196 cents and 8.616 cents. These are the targets for the falling wedge. That's it, man, if this was the bottom. All right, it will require Bitcoin price action, certainly. So you better pray for Bitcoin, Cardano, and everyone else who's a fan of any other asset, including XRP. You better pray for Bitcoin because that's your only hope. On price action, yeah. What's up, Mr. Zerps? Welcome to... Hello, Johan. Johansson. So, uh, whatever, however you say it. What's up, Jimmy? Here's your Cardano, dude. That's it. Simple. All right, look left. You have uh, not hitting. You have not hit the bottom of the support. September 2018. This is where you're bottoming, right here. Okay. And if you can't hold that, dude. If you can't hold this area and this area now, man, you're screwed. You're gonna be coming down to 54, 51. So holding where we're holding now is incredibly important. It's also the golden zone too. You fell lower. I think the 618's down here. So don't fall lower than 6.17, 6.2 cents. Okay, don't fall below that on 88. That's it, man. Okay. Thanks for the 138 people here. You know. Surprised we have that many after such a nasty crash. You know what? Screw that coin base. Not really working anything. It's not going, is it? It's like just. Well, the tether pair was. But this pair is kind of a little lagging, I guess. Where you were making the highest highs from the beginning of the impulse on the tether chart. Whoa. Dude, it is so low and it's still stupid loud. Wow, whatever, man. That's good now, I guess. So we're like $20 away from the measure move of the pennant. So close, yet so far away. But don't worry. It seems likely that we'll hit that and beyond in time, if you give it time. All right, or we would expect Prices of uh, you know around 55 to you know 5570. That's the the area. And then if you exceed that, you're looking at 100 percent. 56 47. You break that. 58 33. 1 2 7 2 up here. Okay, 5806 is where the crazy resistance begins. Back from like June, July. You look parched. It's weird. Why did that? You look parched. Double, oh yeah, the double chimes, because it always does that on my, the first TTS that exists per show. It double chimes. So thank you, man, for the 25. 
I'm glad I didn't get wrecked. All right. Thank you, dude. The Mississippi man. Right. Thank you, dude. Very cool. <sighs> Y'all are amazing. I don't know, man. I've looked at Bitcoin Cash a trillion times every day for my whole life. Okay. If you want me to, just give it a second. Just give me a second. We're looking at 88 on this chart. Here's. Every time I look at the stupid Bitcoin Cash, it keeps not saving. So just hold on. Man, that's amazing, dude. So, so amazing. One more thing, and then we're good. Okay. Here's your BCH. What we thought might have been developing descending triangle. Nope, it just broke too quick and then just fell down from a low to high. Hit the 1272 fib extension before breaking the upside. There was very ever so slight bullish divergence to the MACD. Uh, tough to hold much stock in it, man, after it like made it had the divergence and made a higher level of negative momentum on the lower low. All right, so whatever, man. You had it, it went, and we're struggling, right? We're struggling to break above the 200 moving average we can't do it we've rejected it like four times now wow all right so just going from that high previous major high to low we can see that we've hit the beginning of the golden zone between 268 and 293 is that golden zone all right Right there, man. So that's where we could expect price action versus the downside since we are downtrending right now, right? But I mean, it's okay. Almost This is like the stuff I wish Bitcoin was doing. I wish Bitcoin on April 1st would have run up and then sold off just like this. It would have been so nice because that means we could be setting up for higher prices because people are getting uh, areas of accumulation, right? People that got that were in on Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, right? They're now able to find better areas of value down here to accumulate and add to their potential uh, well, to their position if they had one, or to just get in if they missed. All right, but the problem is when you hit up, you run to the upside, and you do what Bitcoin's doing, the upsloping consolidation, those people with all that money, they're like, well, obviously we can't. There's just premium and stuff. Like, we're paying premium price for Bitcoin. There, I need value. I want to see a sale on Bitcoin after this impulse so I can get in. And we're not getting that on Bitcoin. Not really. It's just higher, higher lows, higher highs, upsloping flag improper consolidation compared to bitcoin cash which is showing some decent consolidation all right great man great i think we had a 50 percent retrace from your high to low 50 percent on the dot before selling off reversing your price action great man great there you go man bch You keep getting an error at checkout for Patreon, Shane Grant? Bradford, do you hear that, man? It's really weird. Hmm. Wait, what, Julian, dude? Is it about to? Like, right now? No, dude. Not, it's not about to, dude. It's... It looks like after an impulse up, we're setting up for higher prices, but obviously they can always be wrong. I think we're on leg C to D, so it, sh it should retrace higher. What are you talking about, Julian Soto? You just got the alert. The alert for what? Hmm, I don't know. It's weird, dude. Yeah, Patreon has issues. Every now and then, lots of issues. Wow, well, thanks for the uh, 191 here. If you're enjoying the live stream, when it doesn't freeze, hit that like button that bell us up. Thanks. Yeah, amazing. Not sure, man, if we could make sense. See, like, where did the impulse start? Probably here. X, A, B, C, maybe 88% retrace eventually. Uh.
just talking to my IT guy, reporting the problem. But I don't know. I feel like I'll just complain and we can't fix it because we don't really know what the issue is. And then that's it. And then we just, I complain, we forget about it until it happens again. All right, it's great. A bank card. Yeah, maybe it's your bank. I don't know. I'm just not sure, man. All right, dudes. If we can break the heart line, man, again, maybe we could run it. 302 is the top of the uh, of the channel, the top trend line. All right, 300 bucks. Three minutes left on your daily candle and your four-hour candle. All right. Maybe I should just stick around till then. It makes sense. See, if we get any kind of volatility. Sometimes you do. A lot of times, most of the times you don't. Subconscious vegan man, thanks for being here. Thanks for finding me. Since no one gets notifications anymore, my PC freezes at the middle of my live streams. Talk about levels of adversity. Lots of them, man. So let's just keep the price action the way it is and get that bullish 20 over the 50 crossover, right? Just like we did before, man, right? We had, uh, look, you sold off, you sold off. Your 20 bearishly crossed over your 50. Your your 20, your bearish card 50. Same thing, 20 crossed over the 50 bearishly when you sold, right? But then we rallied, made our retrace, made our retrace. Sold off, sold off, higher low. Than your previous low technically a lower low than your previous low which is better with the bullish divergence great and uh, then we look when we broke to the upside we did not immediately get that uh 2050 crossover we got it like five candles later so uh same thing man it's going to take a little bit more price action the upside to get that crossover but dude it was the fake out fake out right fake out right here into kangage fake out into hopefully kangage in time all right What's up, Fizzle? Very cool, man. So I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know. I think I, I, I have fulfilled the demand, right? The needs of knowing what's up with Bitcoin, what's up with Ethereum and Ripple and OMG and NEO and BCH and Theta and Shopify and Activision and all these assets. We've looked at them today on the stream you get them every time well you're a lucky man because if you talk to every all your peers they don't get them every time most of the time they don't get them dennis you can't tell me three times today you've gotten alerts you've got notifications for both my videos and my live stream there's no way dude sure thing frozen so there we go 5381 on the tether pair bitcoin us tether on binance so 5380 on there and then on the Coinbase exchange, we're at 5310 still. So we're still, we still got that pretty big disparity in price. Where it was at one time much crazier. It is, I think we got really close last night to normalizing. But here you go, right? It's like uh, $70 off. Twenty minutes left, man. Can we do it? Can I hold? Should I just do nothing for twenty minutes and wait, or just get off stream now? I don't know which one. It's like whatever, dude. Well, we're like at this point, we're like time sunk. We're so close to it. It's like might as well just stay live. But again, it's like we've already like covered most things today. What's up, uh, Burmus? Oh, wall, I'm missing the head and shoulders pattern on the daily left shoulder head right shoulder dude is that what you think you think we're uh i don't think so man i mean nah dude we're like 
like it's an upsloping flag, so it's bearish. It's got the hint of bearishness anyway. I don't think so, man. Like symmetry is way too. It's like off so much, man. To call that a uh, some sort of head and shoulders, man. You want symmetry. What I think we just have is an upsloping flag. Hey, Mr. Cortez, man. Thanks, dude. Cortez the killer. It's a widespread panic song, dude. Oh, maybe on the daily, I'll just have it as a parallel channel. Hide that. Alright, so still just flirting around this 618 from the previous sign. That was the top of the prices we projected months ago on where we could go. This is where we are right now. So I'm missing it. If I'm missing it, are you sure? Or is it maybe just a really weak, pathetic looking potential pattern? I don't doesn't look like it to me. I don't think you created near enough. Look, man, you want your neckline to be a little bit lower. You didn't even like to me, it doesn't look like it. And I don't think other people around the world would see that either this way. But sure, man. I mean, crap, man, the way we're upsloping now here. Dang, dude. Do you see this on the tether pair? Are you kidding me, man? Oh, my goodness. Not even really about a head and shoulders, more like a rising freaking wedge. Anyone see that, dude? Naughty Ray, you're crazy, man. You're crazy, dude. Okay. Two up sloping converging trend lines. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's happening on Tether right now, man. It's beginning. It has begun. Robbie Nelson says, Mitch, you're the only person I've ever tipped online. I know it's not much when I do, but there's nobody else, dude. It doesn't matter about how much you tip, man. It's just really a thank you, man, for supporting the channel. Because when you tip this stream, it's you just literally showing, hey, man, I want you to keep coming back. I want you to keep giving updates on all these assets because I enjoy what you produce, the content you produce. So thanks, man. So that was the case, man. Like 57, 58. Hey, that's dude, that's right around that 1272 area, the three drives, right? Quasimodo looking shoulder. Yeah, so like pretty much invalid. Don't say that, man. Quasimodo was a human, dude. He was not invalidated as a human being. All right. Sure thing, Paul Wall, but hey, man. Because of what you said, it made me go to this chart, it made me go to the daily, it made me look at this and say, holy crap, man, what we've, did, what we've done, when we just pivoted here, April 25th, April 29th, we now have these, all right, so from this low to this low was a certain trend line, but now if you see the way we're ascending now is higher, so it's like more forms of accumulation. So we could run up all the way to 57.49, sell off 55, 100, run up again 5896 and then dump after that measure move in this particular situation on the daily let me make sure this is only visible on the daily okay nope hide hide okay so eventually when we do break where we break i'm not really sure when that's happening but when it does happen from wherever the breakout begins or occurs Look like this, and that is not a very big measure move at all, is it? Forty-nine, forty-two, five thousand dollars, dude. That's nothing. That's not bad. So you got that going for you, which is nice. It's not a big measure move, the downside, but it could be setting up for a short-term reversal in price, just based on what we're seeing. Hmm. But again, we have reason to believe with the bullish engulfing candle above the twenty-day moving average that we could run up and hit a one-two-seven-two or an eight-eight-six higher prices, at least for the very short term. Ben Latin says, funny, I never tipped anyone either besides Mitch. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate all those contributions, dude. Hey, what's up, uh, Bones420, dude? 
How you doing, man? How's uh, Melissa? How are the the bridges? As always, man. Are there as they they are as always getting wrecked? I think right. A oh, notification stream. Oh, screw. Oh yeah, fifty eight hundred are screwed. Um, well, it means like, are we gonna get to fifty eight hundred? Are we gonna be screwed before then? I don't know, dude. It's just a stupid title of a dude. Think about it. you try to stream fourteen times a week and produce a static video or two every day with that and you tell me you're not going to have issues of sometimes coming up with titles for your stream when not much is maybe going on exactly right now okay thanks Jer jimmy right though man mike lerman says just subscribed first time finding you thanks for the info thanks for uh being here mike lerman man i'm really happy you found me dude okay thanks Thanks, Francisco, man. Break who can go? Uh, what? This is what you talking about, man. What are you talking about? Okay. So daily. And then we go to the four hours. Whoops. Alright, back at it, man. Back where we are. Equidistant channel for now. Equidistant. We got about 12 minutes left until the daily close. It seems like we're showing a little strength going into that close, holding on to our positive momentum. Okay, the 618 puts you at 5411. We have yet to hit that from X to A, from the high to low. 62% retrace. Big one on the US dollar chart uh, or you know Coinbase, the actual US dollar, not Tether, is actually showing some strength too. A little bit. Is there another chat? No one was giving me S. They were just joking. Because they were just like, you know, I made a stupid title and they made a stupid comment. And it was funny. I enjoyed it. We're good, Burmis, man. Yeah, welcome uh, new members of Discord. If you want to keep the conversation going when this stream ends, check out our Discord. If you uh, want to be a part of a community that is like-minded, just like you are, about the charts, about patterns, best place to be is the Discord. All right, it's the best way to get in contact with me and everyone else in this live chat when the stream's not active. Okay. Check it out. The uh, link is in the description below, as well as people post the link to the Discord all the time in our live chat. Mods, anyone want to do that? Sweet. Things going, man. Things are going. It's the, uh, the first of the month. Damn, man. So just uh, recalibrating to get going again, all right? Yeah, Veralu, yes. Uh, Paul Wall, I did a seven minute video on it. Did you check it out, man? Did you check out the video I did? If you haven't, just go ahead and do it. If you have questions about XRP, they're probably all answered in that video. All right, I looked at the XRP to BTC pair and the US dollar pair, right? So you can't even be like, hey, look at one or the other, man. We looked at both. Nice, Stephen Wright. He says that he had $150 of Bulkowski books delivered from Amazon today. Head is exploding. Yeah, dude, you're going to get that. But uh, sit back, get some coffee, maybe turn on some classical music or some whatever progressive house, whatever gets you going, man. But whatever you do, make sure you're ready because it's like reading the Similarian. All right, it's like the Lord of the Rings lore encyclopedia. It's like written that way by J.R.R. Tolkien. JR or Tolkien, whatever. Double R. Hello? Is anyone there? I don't think so. Oh. Not really. Thanks to the 227 people here. Oh my god, man. Bitcoin showing strength. That's it. Nine minutes. I'm just hanging out with y'all. I'm just uh, killing some time, hanging out with y'all. I've already been live. It says 30 minutes, but I've been live for almost two hours now, okay? <clears throat> Thanks, Francisco, man. Bones, 420 says, haven't been able to follow crypto for a few days, but C didn't miss out on much, thank God. Yeah, man, well, looks okay, man. Looks like we're 
continuing our ascent up from C to D, looking for that retrace, like Big Brother before it, right? We hit all the way up to the 1272, really 130% retrace before selling off. All right. Sub Cult of Crypto. Just idea, it means like, uh, so you like, this is a harmonic pattern. And so like harmonics are like testament to predictable patterns, history repeating itself in geometry. All right. And uh, from the high to low, uh, once you make an X to A, you retrace it to the B and then you pivot. We made a double bottom here, uh, but it was actually a lower low than our previous low on candle closes, but a higher low on wicks. I know that sounds crazy, but on the lower low on candle closes, we were able to identify bullish divergence. Beautiful. And so from that, when you get stuff like that on the four hour, very, very bullish. And so we would expect to run up just based on wave analysis, whatever. Uh, this is like C to D is normally that largest leg. Okay. And it takes sometimes the longest to get, uh, I guess the longest amount of time to get to that area too, as like look before, right? When we did the exact same thing, impulse down, impulse down, right? Retraced 55% of the way, 56% of the way, uh, retraced 50% of the way here, sold off, retraced 70% of the way right here. We retraced 68% of the way. And then we had an impulse up art for C to D, that C to D leg. It took us uh, eight days, I believe, eight days to finally make our top before selling off. OK, and we thought at first uh, my analysis was I thought 88, 88 point eight. 88.6% retrace. But once we broke that 886, we blasted off to run to hit the 1272 Fib extension, which is also a very critical resistance point. All right. Wasn't quite the crab, even though you could consider it some sort of crab because the, the crab pattern is the 1618, much higher. But um, we expect at least maybe uh, 5542, but we could exceed it and we would wait patiently to exceed that. Okay. We exceeded it, then we're looking for 5600 at the 100% retrace, and then we're looking for a 1272 Fib extension from the high to low, 127.2% retrace at 5731. Okay, and then 5731, remember that? 5731, 5731 is right here. There it is, man. All right, so we got to run all the way up like this on the daily, and the rising wedge, eventually you hit the top. People short at the tops of these wedges. One, two, three. Sell off. You break out. Measure moves down here at 48. I thought it was 5K. 4876. But we don't know uh, until we really break this support. We don't know right where the measure move is because if it's up way up here, then we you know from the breakout you're 5100 right. If you break out earlier, then it's going to be a lower level right. So we're just waiting for the breakout, but I think we could run up one more time potentially before selling off. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't know, man, how much uh, ice do you smoke? How much meth do you smoke on a daily basis, dude? Thanks, bald and bearded man. Five more likes. Holy crap, man. Likes got reset. Yes, they certainly did. We had over 100 before the stream crashed. Now we got five minutes left of the daily and four hour close. Let's go, baby. Okay, hipster BTC. Thanks for all the uh, technical analysis behind your fake argument. Okay, you're saying Bitcoin's going to 10K on Bitfinex exchange soon. You have been warned. Yeah, but you've given. No argument, so no argument, uh, comments or jokes, okay? I mean, Steven, it's like the same as everything, every pattern, man. So look at it, think of a harmonic just like you would think about some sort of a rising wedge or triangle or something, right? Howdy, would you still stop loss into USDT? How about test? Where might you set your stop loss? Uh, are you talking about a stop loss on Bitcoin? Well, I'm not technically trading Bitcoin right now, but a stop loss on, I mean, US dollar tether, I guess. But uh, this isn't really, I mean, 
setting a stop loss, I guess, 786, 886, 100%. Or just move the stop loss up. I don't know if you have the ability to have a trailing stop loss, but those are good too in these situations. But um, and you can just do like 6 to 10% trailing stop. But I don't know, man. I, I don't. Are you trading this? Because the fact that you're asking me where I should set up a stop is very bad. Because if you're actually trading Bitcoin right now, you need like before you hit that buy button on Bitcoin or any other asset, you have to answer the questions. Why am I buying here? Or where am I buying? Why am I buying? Where's my stop loss? Why is my stop loss there? Where am I taking profit and exiting my position? Why am I taking profit and exiting my position there? Answer all these questions. That's when you do it right. When you answer all those questions and it all makes sense, but when you are on TTS tipping me, uh, it's not even showing me the amount, but I think $7 or so of Ethereum. If you're tipping me where you should set a stop loss, that's showing and indicating to me that you are not practicing the proper techniques to be successful in the long game if you're playing the numbers game for trading okay hopefully that uh i mean that probably didn't answer the question as well as you would like but hopefully it gave you a little bit of insight okay walk to man pcs cmc showing at 5400 well this is tether showing at 5393 dude so close to the same thing some trading Mr. T, dude. Real life, so in a different part of the U.S. today, but wanted to check in. Thanks, man, for checking in, dude. Kangs. Hey, two tacos, man. Two tacos, crypto two times, everything, dude. Okay. Where'd my chat go? Have you even checked the news? Oh, hipster, what's the news, man? Uh, 10K. Okay, well, whatever, man. It's, uh, 10K to me sounds like, you sound like Tone Vase. All right. Oh, we're going to 1500. We're going to 10K. Great. It might take a while on both sides to get there. So that's not really helpful to me or anyone else in this chat. We do shorter term trades, okay, to make profit in like a week or two. Maybe in a month, but to say we're going to 10K soon, it's completely speculative. All right. And there's a ton of room for error there, much less room for error on the four hour or daily when we're looking at in structures, in patterns. Okay. Yeah. It relies on news, crypto news. <laughs> Great. Oh, did we hit 100 likes? That's awesome, y'all. Incredible. Boom. There it is. Fireworks. Have you even heard of the news? Holy crap, dude. Three more subs until 6,900, dude. 6,900. We'll play the It Feels So Good. All right. Crypto IK, interesting, interesting thought. But uh, anyway, man, I'm just waiting. Like, uh, literally just running out of the clock. There's 15 seconds now until the daily closes, until the full hour closes. Candle's closing on some decent strength. All right, for now, those 10 seconds, some changes. Same with Coinbase. Coinbase is now making the highest candle high of the impulse so far. All right, yep, it closed with a higher high. Very nice. Not on Wix, but on candle closes. So there it is. We've done it. And we'll do the thing. What's up, uh, Jurgen man? Bitcoin pumped by 20 bucks. Yeah, Jurgen dude. We're screwed. In a good way. Or something, right? I don't think that works. I don't know, man. Makes music, says he'd sub again if he could, man. Well, thank you, dude. You're awesome.
What is it real life? The alts are tracking, don't know what to do to BTC. Yeah, dude, probably real life. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's real bad. It's like it was clear signals, you know, like we had all these Momo shifts. We hit our retrace levels. Most of them hit the retrace level. Some of them got real close and didn't, and then some never even took off, right? But now with Bitcoin moving up again, it's like a hey, Bitcoin dominance, man. It's killing those BTC pairs, killing them. Is that true, Nikki Faf? Bitcoin beating Apple in 2019. What? This is the first time hearing this. Great man. Vegas is on the doorstep. Ben's 420. Shoot, man, we got a while. We still got a long while, man. 3,100 subs is still a lot, a stupid amount. You know, like we have to like gain 33% of our sub count, right? Yeah, remember if you uh you appreciate what I do, you want to become a better trader, you want trade setups, join the Patreon. It's the best day to do it. It's the first of the month. So you can't blame me for talking about joining the Patreon on the first of the month when it's the best area, the best day for the best value, I guess, right? Where you get 30 days of the education and the trade setups and the Discord exclusivity where I post charts all the time, we converse. People ask questions. It's just good, man. All right. So check it out, dude. Yes, it did, Tony R. It sure did. Let me pull it up for a second. Really nice. It was forming a descending triangle. A really nice descending triangle, wasn't it? Hey, new four hour. Starting to move up a little bit, right? But at that 1618, or sorry, the 618, Tony, man, we reversed our price action, didn't we? Taking a minute. But it's still showing a little strength. Dang, man. Dang. Yeah, Bitcoin dominance. Uh, it was a height of 58.4% and currently sitting at 57.72. So still pretty freaking strong, right? Still strong. Hey, real live, man. Thanks for the uh, $10 super chat, dude. Really appreciate that, man. THX. It seemed like halts are good Satoshi price, but trying to show patience in case they go lower to BTC. Yeah, man. Yeah, US dollar tether pairs are probably, I think in, in this current time, the way things are going, are going, those are probably your best setups. But of course, yeah, they can reverse like IOTA reversed, right, on the Jaguar news. But there was also bullish divergence. And there was also a 1414 fib extension we were bouncing off of with a double bottom, right? I think V chain to the BTC pair bounced to the upside because it had a nice double bottom with some bullish divergence, right? So, I mean, they have the chance to break to the upside, but you know, when Bitcoin goes up, these a lot of these alts now have not been doing well, and, and really they've all been struggling tremendously since that April 1st pump. Before that, man, it was free reign. It was awesome. Everything was doing great. Bitcoin lacking volatility, but now Bitcoin is running the show again for now. What's well, been doing that? So I've encrypted broker. I don't know, man. 6K, I don't know if we're going to get there, dude. 5,800, 5,700 maybe. Yeah, possibility. 6K seems really, seems like it'd be really tough to get a 6K. All right. Lee plot. We've already looked at ZRX, I think, in the stream before. I think. I know I looked at it. Anyway, man. All right. So that's it, dude. That's it. Okay. Bitcoin. Yay. It's doing nothing on the new daily candle. All right. Not really. Not doing anything. So holding on to positive momentum. Great sign. RSI still very strong. Sitting right at 60. So we're in bullish territory. Okay. So you're holding on to positive momentum and you're uh, really hot on the RSI and you're showing strength. All right. Pivoting on a 
double bottom. I mean, dude, it just seems like uh, we were talking about last night. Pri higher prices seem likely, yeah. No, you know for sure, okay. All right, man, wow. You should stream, man. You should stream if you know everything, right? Okay, yeah. It's crazy, man. Bitcoin dominance showing so much strength here. There's a big bearish engulfing candle, too. Alright, so. I don't know, man. We'll see if we can keep going, man. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm just keeping it live for you while this thing's trying to make up his mind about going higher, even though it's continuously going higher. Alright? Yeah, there's supposed to be one to one. No, I just have this chart up to trigger everybody. I figured it was a, so a sore subject, so hey, we'll pull up the tether chart. Kappa. What's up, Jack Lewis? Jordan, that sounds scary, man, right? Thanks for the uh, people that joined the Discord, man. Thank y'all all. All right, welcome. We got uh, over 1,600 members now, and we're growing every day. You think you could hit 5,500 tonight? Always a possibility, man. All it would take was one green candle. You broke overhead resistance, okay? You broke overhead resistance. You broke the 50% retrace. You broke above the 50 moving average, okay? You've broken the areas that were the, the questionable spots where we might get screwed. No, you broke them. And you're holding on to all the positive momentum, dude. And you've got plenty of room to run. Again, we just said bullish, off bullish divergence off a pivot point, man. It's beautiful. All right. MSR, that's right. Don't trust someone that says something will definitely happen. That nothing is a certain thing on these markets. This market, Forex, or the stock market, nothing's a certain thing. Unless you literally move the markets and have inside information, then maybe, right? That's... Not my point. I would rather have Bitcoin perform the best, even right? Okay. This thing is the life force of crypto, the life force of volatility in crypto. Whew. Hey, Phil, since you're a high ASL, Phil. What are you what are you gonna use? Uh T U S D or something? Candlestick man? Right. Jeez, man. Okay. Hey, Nikki, are you out there? still and the cyber webs or whatever you call it let me know if you're out there and we can do this thing knock it out all right dang man all right we'll see it play out man. in a couple weeks that makes sense but it may not be because of tether it might be because uh, we are exhausted and our variables our oscillators are let us know our price action too as it stands on Tether, already starting to monk S with two converging up slipping trend lines off this recent pivot we got on the daily time scale. Not a joke. What's everyone going to do with all their Lambos? Oh my god, man. I'll return it and get an M8. That's what I'll do. Where to find those with inside information on the markets? Just idea. I got to go to Wall Street, okay, man? Probably South Korea for this exchange, for, for crypto. All right. Jeez, man. And then just go find the, the Binance trading floor. Okay? Just idea. It's simple, dude. Very simple. Okay, man. 
Let's see if uh, Mr. Faf's there. In a dark room, one of the bricks, man. Well, the sun's going down, man. On my side of town. I'm sure, yeah, candlesticks and give it, just give it time, man. All I do is give it time and scandals will unfold. Like, there are so many bombshells that are probably going on right now that we don't even, no one knows about that will be exposed in time. Hey, Chronicles Chadwick, did you do Bitcoin yet? Nah, man. Nah, we're, we don't do Bitcoin on this channel, okay, dude? Sorry. Oh yeah, well, sorry that uh, you have to witness such disgusting price action in real life. Sorry about that, dude. Rest in peace, your eyes. Clearly feeling some resistance on Bitcoin right now. I mean, dude, we are doing the exact same stuff. on Look, on the way up here, dude, every candle's four hours, dude. You would say, oh, we're seeing resistance even though we keep making higher highs. If we're staying above the 20 moving average. We're, I mean, this is resistance too. This is stupid amounts of resistance. Sold off, bounced off the 50 moving average, and pumped. Right? Methodical moves to that last leg. Wow. Forget about Jaguar. He's waiting for the first crypto to partner with Lambo. Yeah, really, right? Okay. So guys and gals, three hours and 47 minutes left on the daily. I wonder if I'll regret this or not, but uh, about to sign off, all right. Baralu, thanks for the uh, Ethereum. Real life, dude, thanks for the $10 super chat. Introvert United, thanks for that 25, man. Amazing. Mr. Elixir, thanks for the super chat. Bobby W, thank you for the super chat. HG, thank you, man. Nikki Faf and Kills for a Living. Kills for a Living being the first person to tip me of the month, right? So uh, thank you all again for being here. Sorry about the stream crash earlier, but uh, hey, we I came back and we kept it rolling for almost almost another hour. Okay, so like extended stream. There you go, man. Overtime. So I'll be back tonight. 11 Eastern. Hey, hey, yo. Thanks for the uh, $3 super chat, man. Really appreciate that, man. Very cool, dude. Be sure to hit that like button, that bell, that sub on the way out. Y'all are incredible. Thanks again. Hey, hey, yo. I'll be back. So until next time, respect the TA.
it's good. Adios, turd nuggets. <laughs>